Hey everybody, this is Bill Murphy here with MMORPG.com, and I'm here with John Corpening. Uh, we're going to talk about Heart of Thorns PvP, right? For Guild Wars 2. That's right. Like tons of PvP. Tons of PvP. <laughs> all PvP, all the time. <laughs> um, no, one of the, one of the main things we got to see today at the studio is actually um, the PvP map. Uh, I, I can't remember the actual name of it, but it's, of it's is Stronghold is the, is the game mode. Stronghold's game mode. Yeah. Uh, Champion's Dusk is the name Champion's of Dusk. I was calling it like Champion's Citadel, and I don't know where that even came from. But um, so the new Stronghold PvP mode, I guess for people that maybe haven't been following you guys at PAX South, why don't you give us kind of just a brief overview of what Stronghold's all about? So in Stronghold, your main objective is to kill the enemy lord. Um, you do that by gathering supply, mm -hmm. um, raising up troops, send them uh, down a lane uh, to the enemy stronghold. Uh, you take out their defenders, you knock down their gates, you storm the castle, and you kill the lord. And the, the interesting mechanic about all that is you need supplies to send out your uh your archers and your door breakers? Door breakers, yeah. yeah. But the supplies are, are housed in the middle of the map where you all have to fight over who gets the supply. So. Yeah, definitely. The supply um, comes from uh, the supply depot. Mm -hmm. um, that area is, um, it's uh, you know, two areas where you can channel in supply. Mm -hmm. um, you know, bring in the supply, uh, you want to run it back to your barracks. From the mm -hmm. barracks is where you, you spawn your door breakers and archers. Um, you'll see a lot of team fights around supply depot yes. because um, that is the lifeblood of the game. Yes. So um, you know, people will try to dominate that area and control it. What I what I wanted to ask you about too is there are two um, two trebs off on each side too. What do you suppo suppose that people are going to be using the trebs for in this game mode? Because what I noticed was that um, people tend to ignore them. Are we making a mistake by ignoring the trebs? Well, you know, the trebs is there as a tool for you to use mm -hmm. in the game. Um, there are definitely some teams prefer not to use treb. Um, the other teams that uh, make um, you know, perfect use of the treb. Okay. Um, a lot of what you see like in uh, Battle of Kylo um, in our existing game. Yes. Um, so the treb is there for a number of reasons. You know, I think the the more the most direct reason is um, defending your lane. Okay. Um, so you'll see, you know, one team will make a big offensive push. You know, they will uh, get a whole bunch of door breakers together, get some archers for support, uh, send a few players down the lane. Um, they start trucking. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you get uh, somebody who's watching out for that to jump on the treb, um, and they can use that to just splatter a lot of those guys. Okay. You know? um, yeah, so... It's really situational, not something you want to camp on necessarily the whole time. I mean, you uh, could. It just, it just kind of depends what's going on. Yeah. You know? Like, you can definitely, um, if one team is highly aggressive on, on offense, mm -hmm. and they're ignoring the treb, so, you know, they're, they're giving you free use of it. Yeah. Um, uh, that's some, definitely something that you can be uh, spending a lot of time on, yes. you know. Um, but uh, another er reason to use the TREB is uh, to take control of the supply depot. Okay. So, um, like, one of the things that will happen is that... Um, I didn't even think of that. Sorry. Yeah. It's like my, my <laughs> eyes just lit up because I'm, I'm going to want to go use this now. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> yeah, one of the things that we saw, and actually one of the reasons, um, uh, one of the developments of the TREB mm -hmm. um, was because we saw teams were just locking in the supply depot, mm -hmm. right? Um, so they're going in, um, they were uh, taking control, and it's a fantastic strategy, right? Yeah. But we need some counterplay to that. Um, so what the treb can do is it can hit the supply depot, and um, if a team's doing that, you yeah. know, ignoring the treb, then you can you can crack that defense by that you know, domination of that area by using the treb. Does the there's for those of you who are watching the video uh, of the gameplay that I recorded, you might see the supply depot. There's actually like a wooden grate over some water. Mm -hmm. Does the do the trebs destroy that? Uh, no. Darn, you should make that happen. <laughs> or they we get sharks in the pool. Yeah, <laughs> put like sharks down there so people are like, I'm camping, and then nope, it's done. Sharks jump out, yeah. pull up machine guns. That would be cool. Lasers, lasers, <laughs> lasers. on their freaking yeah. heads. Um, it would be sweet. But um, <laughs> so, um, uh, well. Actually, just a little bit more on the yeah. treb, you know, because um, uh, a lot of people don't realize this um, that uh, supply will actually repair the treb immediately. Okay. Um, but because we do want it to be the thing that um, allows you to reopen the supply depot, yes. it will automatically repair after a couple of minutes. Okay, so you know. if somebody destroys it, you don't necessarily have to bring supply back to it. That's right. just an instantaneous right. thing. Yeah, because if somebody's got the supply depot locked down, yeah. you know, then uh, you can't repair it. You can't it, repair so the treb. So, so that's like, again, it's a countermeasure for people that exactly. are camping. Now, that's funny because the match were, um, that they're probably watching video of while they listen to us was actually, um, it's all, you see it from my point of view, and I'm basically just playing the defensive lane for the red team. Mm -hmm. So as they're launching all their door breakers, they're not paying attention to going on offense into our lane. So I'm just killing all their NPCs, their, their minions, basically, as they send them down this lane. Um, is that, a, is that a strategy that you, you think you're going to see a lot more of, like people just bunkering down and saying on defense and basically saying, you can't, if you can't get through these doors, you're not going to win anyway and we'll outpoint you? Because you can also win by having the most points at the end of 15 minutes, right? Yeah, and you know, honestly, this is the first time anyone's seen the game. You know, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so like, um, you can definitely see that people are just learning strategies yeah. on that. You know? Um, you know, we've 
what we've seen is that there tends to be lots of fights. Like if you're uh, playing defense, mm -hmm. um, you are very much going to be in constant combat with other players. Yes. You know? So um, you know if they were um, if they were playing smarter, it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they would have come down the lane a little bit. Yeah, if they're yeah, yeah slightly more but, advanced level, yeah. But they had to make that choice too because our guys were pushing on their lane. Yeah, and absolutely. And so they were staying back to try to protect their keep lord, and it um, it didn't work out for them. We ended up winning, but um, you know. It's it's interesting to see how how there's that constant pull and tug between the two. Um, I, I was going somewhere with this, but we're going to go to a different <laughs> question entirely. Well, you know, actually, I kind of wanted to um, kind of please, on that please, Lou, because I lost like, track. Um, <laughs> you know, like you'll see that the the game will actually uh, change. Um, mm -hmm. There's like the game actually has some very distinct phases to it, you know, and um, they kind of morph depending on how players are playing the yeah. game, right? But um, early on, you know, everybody starts off with one supply. Um, it gives them an opening gambit. Right? Okay. Um, like, well, typically what you see people do is they'll jump down, they'll start, they'll um, bring door some breakers door, door or breakers, something. Yeah. do an initial push down the lane, right? Um, other thing, things that you'll see was, will be um, someone will run over, they'll man the trap immediately. Mm -hmm. um, you, they can use that supply to, to repair the trap, so if they know that the other team's very aggressive, they come and destroy the trap, they, they you know, Beat oh. it, come back, you know, repair the trap and back on the trap. Right? Or go attack the trap first thing, just in case yeah. Yeah, they're definitely. trying to predict what they're going to do. Definitely. Yeah. Like another strategy that we've seen is that people will, um, you know, dash across the map mm -hmm. and, um, uh, you know, try to stop them at the doorway to the supply depot on the other side. Yep. You know, and so people have, like, tried to lock down that area as well, you know, so there's just, like, it's opening gamut that happens. Yeah. Lots of different choices that happen at that point. And it's a small um, map too. It's not super big. Like it's it's wide. Uh, you know, it look when you look at the map, it's like long, but the lanes aren't that far. It's a real quick fighting game. Like there's not a lot of room for travel. Yeah, one of our big philosophies in PvP is we mm -hmm. want um, short, intense matches, yeah. right? Um, so uh, you know, we want to keep this about the same length as a conquest match. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, it's around 15 minutes you at know? the most. Yeah, and um, uh, and like you know, to do that, like we we kept everything focused. Yes. Right? Um, so you know, there weren't long periods of you know trying to level anything up or anything mm -hmm. like that. Right. It's like you just jump in, you have an intense experience um, right away with it. Do you um do you see any specific uh, profession builds that might come out as more viable for this map, or is it something that you haven't really noticed yet because you just started the playtesting? Well, I mean, there have actually de definitely been a bunch of things that have uh, uh, come up already. Okay. You know? and, um, you know, Tell, <laughs> because people want the inside track. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, um, you know, like, I think the more traditional builds that you see, like, um, Conquest is very much about, uh, a lot of times it's team fights, mm -hmm. uh, 1v1s, 2v2s, you know, a, a lot of um, me versus you, a lot of dueling, that yes. kind of stuff, right? That role completely continues to exist, and you'll see it a lot in uh, defenders, okay. um, like defenders who are more focused on killing the attackers, yes. right? Um, also, um, there's a role we call assault, you know, which is the person who um, goes straight to the, the next objective, yeah. you know, and um, tries to kill the defenders there to clear the way for the, the door. Yeah, there's a lot of soldiers on each side of the of the track too, so you got to take them out first. Yeah, too. absolutely, because those guys they'll one shot your door breakers. So, yeah, you know you need to get up there and take those out. Uh, defenders kind of go in, in one or two flavors, or mm -hmm. actually a couple of different um, uh, different ways of defending. Right? Okay, but, like some big ones are. Uh, people who try to just kill the, the attackers that come up, mm -hmm. or uh, people try to keep the guards up. You know? Yeah. And so, um, you know, because if they keep those guards up, then uh, they'll just keep the door breakers out. That's something I didn't notice with the guards, and if they go down, can you bring them back up? No. Nope. No, okay. Once the guard is out, it's out for good. But so you we, can we really watch them. really the forward progress going in the game. Yeah. You know, so um, all the defensive uh, NPCs, once they're, they're gone, they're gone. You okay. Know? So, um, and you know, every push that you make, you know, if you can take out a few of those, uh, those guys, um, you can you know, advance further into them. Do the archers do better at that, taking out the other yeah, guards? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So, um, you know, door breakers take out doors. The doors, you know. yeah. The archers are there as kind of anti-guards. Uh, okay. You know? So they do bonus damage against guards. Okay. You know? um, they do a small amount of damage, damage to... Small amount of damage to doors, yeah, and a small amount of damage to players, okay, but a lot of damage to guards. That's funny because it, people that are watching the video while we're talking right now will see on my mini map, even if they don't see it from uh, from my point of view. We sent like twelve guards at one point, just running <laughs> down the lane, and then the next thing you know, it's game over, man. They, they won, so that explains that because we didn't know. We we're just like, well, we're we're through the doors. All we can send is archers. Let's just send every archer we could, and it, it overpowered them. So it's it's a really cool map. Um, I think it brings a whole new dynamic to the PvP in the game. Um, is there anything uh, in terms of, of the map right now that you think that you might be tweaking or something that's just not working the way you, you want it to? 
Yeah, right now we're pretty happy with it, mm -hmm. you know. Um, really what we want to do now is get in front of players yeah. and uh, get their feedback on that because, you know. It's fun. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's really fun. Yeah, we want to see, like, all the different strategies they come up with, um, all the different ways they find mm -hmm. of, you know, like, breaking the game, you know, yep. and, and um, all the different ways that um, um, they're going to play it, right? Yes. And so we want what we want to do is, you know, get the feedback from the players now, you know. Um, they're going to be able to see it at PAX East. They'll yep. be able to see it at Res. Play it at play it at both. Actually, playable on Absolutely. the floor. Absolutely, yeah, playable there. And um, you know, then of course, you know, there'll be, there'll be betas. Yes. You know? So um, we were looking for community feedback. Um, yeah. And we're going to see where to take it from there. Um, but we're pretty happy with where it's at right now. Is it going to become a part of the official rotation for the for the esports stuff that you guys are doing too? So for that, what we what we want to do is kind of get uh, the community feedback. Okay. On, right. So um, just like with um, uh, Conquest when it came yes. out, right? Um, what happened was that. Uh, players started running their own tournaments, you mm -hmm. know, and then uh, we started supporting those tournaments, and then that scene began to grow, mm -hmm. and um, you know we started doing bigger tournaments, you yep. know, and that all uh, led up to the World Tournament Series. Yeah. Um, you know, we want to see you know how the community takes to this one. I think they're gonna love it, especially I, with Guild versus Guild too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fully confident. Yeah. They're gonna love it. So, yeah. Um, so I, like, I have no doubt that we're gonna see that uh, you know advance in the future. Yeah. But, I mean, I, I think it's pretty obvious just from watching it that it. With the with the minions and the lanes, it's a little bit of like a MOBA, but it's not that serious thirty to forty minute commitment you have to put in with mm -hmm. a game like League or Dota. It's just quick and furious, but still has that multiple facets of strategy. So good work, guys. It's really good. Well, thanks a lot. Thanks very much, John. Uh, again, guys, we uh, we just been previewing Guild Wars Two: Heart of Thorns all day here at ArenaNet. It's looking fantastic. We have a lot more footage coming up for you. Uh, keep your eyes peeled on MMORPG.com. Watch our YouTube at YouTube com slash mmorpg com without the dot does that make sense and don't forget to follow us on all the social media and everything john great talking to you thanks a lot thanks a lot bye guys scene <laughs> awesome okay. how, how far we do i don't even know it wasn't too i can't really tell hey let's look in the camera it says it's like five hours